All right, here we go, the second one. So if you are uh, just joining, I just did another one a few minutes ago around my um, Joss Q that came in. So if you want to see an unboxing of a Joss, I think it's N7, it's the Color Money Q. Um, I got one of those, I just did that. So take a look at my channel for that one. So this one here, I haven't opened yet. This box came in today. I ordered myself a new case. Um, you know, a case is a case, right? I've got multiple cases, but it's amazing when I go play whether it be in leagues or just go play for fun or go play in tournaments, I'm constantly looking for the right places to put my, because I don't want to play with my keys, my wallet, my phone, everything on me. I like to have it off me. I want to be in a safe place. I don't want to just leave it out randomly because sometimes after a, a match, um, usually if I lose, I'm, I'm not thinking straight. I'm a little pissed. So I don't want to leave anything behind. When I win, I'm usually more relaxed. I'm like, great, I remember to grab everything. But when I lose, I'm just ready to get the hell out of there or, or go hit something or or just go cool down for a few minutes. So I like to have things you know, in a place where I know they're safe and I, I can get back to them easily when I want to. So I've had, I've been using this hard case for a while, 4 8 case. I don't know, I think it's an Elite. Let's see, I got tape over because I, I travel with it. And, um, Pro Series, I'm looking for a brand name on this thing. Some sort of generic thing. It says Pro Series something. Some sort of faux leather on the outside. You know, it's, it's been a fine case. Um, although, like I said, you can see some of the challenges I had was my butt cue doesn't fit in there, my butt of my jump stick doesn't fit in there, just not a lot of room in these pockets, and um, this upper pocket here just didn't seem to hold much either. So I was like, you know what? I saw, I saw, um, I think it's John Burton from JB Cases do some videos on YouTube, <clears throat> and he was talking about CTE and these other things, and he just seemed like a pretty down-to-earth, cool guy, and I've heard some good things about the JB cases. I'm like, like I said, I always like to promote and sponsor, and or not sponsor, but promote the the uh, forward movement and positive aspects of the game of pool. And I think he's doing that with his cases. And um, so whenever I need something, and I like to support these guys that are working hard to make this game a better um, game for everyone. So here it is. This just came in today. <clears throat> Um, UPS, so we're going to open it up and see what we got. This one will be a little more fun than the last one, not because of the content necessarily, but because there's more items. I got a, I got a bunch of accessories as well, so, all right. So here we go, open it up, and, all right, so the case comes in its own case. That's kind of fun. The box is empty. So it looks like, uh, looks like they put this in a nice brown... Soft material, and uh, it fits in the case, which is cool. All right, so here's the case I ordered. So, you know, JB cases is pretty cool in the fact that they allow you to, you can custom make your own case. Um, you can you can send artwork in. They'll do custom embroidery. They do all kinds of unique custom things, which I which I like about them. And um, Never met the guy, even though I've been out to Vegas a couple times we've been out there, I never really stopped by and chat with him, but he just seems like one of those um, crazy um, mad scientist guys, which I think is cool as shit, so uh, <laughs> John, you have a good word. And, um, so this one, because I just wanted, I didn't really care to do anything, you know, in my first case from them, and I didn't really care if I did anything customized, I had nothing in mind, I just looked for something that was cool that had some features that I was looking for. One of the features I was looking for that I liked about JB Cases, which maybe others have as well, but I know they do, is sort of this, this backpack strap feature. So rather than just one strap that when I was had my old case, it was constantly, I put it on, and, and if I wasn't holding it and pulling it tight, it would constantly slip off and fall. It was driving me nuts. So what I was looking for was this backpack case, and I might have to fix it. I've adjusted it for my, oh, my big-ass shoulders. Well, it doesn't fit, but I'll have to loosen it up and get these things to uh, fit my shoulders, but it's nice to have two of them so I can wear it like a backpack and easily carry it around and not have to worry about it. Um, one of the other things I ordered, which you can see here, um, is this one or two? This looks like it's just one. I ordered two of these little clip-ons. So if you want to hang a towel off it, so it's got a towel ring on it, and so it just opens up, got a clamp on it on both ends. So, um, I figure I get that if I want to hang a towel off it I can or if I want to hang my keys off it if I can, I can or if I just want to attach it to something on the wall that has a little hoop or something I can to hold it so it doesn't fall down. A lot of different fun and unique features that you can use for that but 
I ordered two of those, I thought, but I only see one, so maybe I'll check one. Maybe I only ordered one. So, okay. So, by the way, I got the um, the rugged, it's called, um, and it's um, black with um, the thread, the stitching being a red, as you can see probably in the camera, and then it's got the red, okay, so these are leather. The red, there are zipper um, tips on it. So there's two zipper on each opening. So let's open this up and see what's in here. Look at that. All right, cool. All right, so here's one of my. So you open it up, you can see the interior of this is red. So you can see that. I remember the first time as well. So here's one of the accessories I ordered, which is just a little piece of Velcro or a little piece of elastic with Velcro on it that you can do anything with it. You can put it in here. And I think one of the examples he showed one of his videos was. You can put a cue ball in there, um, you can put a phone in there, and you can do whatever you want depending on what you have to build a store. But it's just it's a flexible thing that you can put anywhere in the case, as long as there, there's the uh, sort of what I'll call a female end of the Velcro anywhere, you can attach this to it and utilize it to hold something tight uh, in the case. So the inside of this case has got red, the red um, felt material, soft case. Um, it says, Right here it says Ultra Pad, which is trademarked, I guess, by JB Cases. Ultra Pad Protection. So I guess it's their, it's their special name they use for interior of their case. Um, so I guess he's trademarked Ultra Pad. Interesting. Um, and then the inside of the case lid, it says uh, made by JB Cases, and then XIA Men, which I'm not sure what XIA Men is, but um, I'll have to find out. So, all right, so we got red, and once again, it's a 4.8, um, and, okay, so let's talk about the other accessory. I'll pass that up. So here's the little elastic piece. That's one of the accessories I got. And this one I got, um, so this here is like a stick, uh, a butt stick sock, and the reason I got this is because some of my cues... Let's see which go with one I actually carry in my other case. So one of my cues is my brake jump. I got the currently I got the McDermott, McDermott Stinger brake jump stick, and when I bought it, it had the wrap on it, and I just didn't get the the sticky grip I wanted from that wrap uh, consistently when I was braking. So I wanted more of a something I could grab onto and really drive and get more out of my brake off this stick because. The McDermott Stinger seems to play pretty well. I have no problems with the, the stick itself. Um, so I added some tennis wrap tape on, on my uh, brake stick. Um, I've also, in the past, purchased one of those little, it's like a rubber, the one I purchased was from Tiger Products. It was just a little rubber, um, I don't know what you call it, just a little cover. It was... Um, you, you would slide over, it was kind of a pain in the ass to get on and off, which hopefully you didn't take it off, but I had to because it just didn't fit in my case. But it was, like a, it was like a rubber sleeve that you would roll on and then roll down over the top of this and then feel like you get grip on your shaft. The problem with that was is that it wouldn't fit in my case. This was too thick, and every time I rolled it down my case, it would roll up and I had to roll back down and I just ended up throwing it out because it didn't work. So I was pissed. So anyways... Um, JB has come up with an, um, an accessory, and now that I'm thinking about it, this is not the accessory I'm thinking about. This is a different accessory, which I still got the one that fits the addresses this challenge here. I'm assuming it's in the case. But this one here addresses my other challenge, which is, remember I mentioned earlier about my case not being able to hold the small butt for my jump cue. So this is the little stinger um, um, butt for doing close-up jumps. Um, or maybe if you want to, you can try like this, but these, I usually do when I'm doing fingertip jumps close up and short distances. To carry this with me, I hate having to carry it in that front pocket. It took up a lot of space and it stuck out. So what this does is this allows me to um, put this down inside one of, the, one of the slots. This part hangs over the edge so you can pull it out, but yet it fills the bottom so that I can put this in one of the, one of the um, slots in the case. And, um, and it'll sit up high, just like a shaft would so that I can easily reach it and um, pull it out. And it takes up a slot versus taking up one of these pockets on the actual case. So that's what this is. And this has, this little material has a um, little piece of PVC that you can, that are uh, multiple pieces 
that you can take out or add to it to fit the height you need to be able to make sure this sticks up far enough to be able to use it beside the case. Hope that made sense. Just like I said, when you're doing this stuff sort of live without preparation and I'm not necessarily a professional pool unboxing guy, you're just getting it raw and uncut. So um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. All right, so pocket one. Whoa. As a special gift from JB Cases, I was given a piece of foam. Kidding. This is obviously just keeping it from collapsing while I was traveling. So uh, nothing in that case. But nice little small pocket that you can use to put chalk or some coins or maybe some um, um, butt caps or who knows. But just a nice little separate pocket to keep small items in. Um, ball markers, whatever it is. Okay, second pocket, which is which I was very excited about. Okay. It was big enough because I have the iPhone 6S Plus, which by the time you get a new one, but the new one's even bigger, I guess. But my other pocket didn't really fit this, and this has a zipper goes down farther. My other pocket only zipped down about mm, uh, a third of the way, so it kind of just opened up, and I had to kind of like, it's hard to get in the bottom of that pocket. And even then, my, my phone didn't really fit in there. But now, as you can see, that 6S Plus, whatever phone you got, but you can use this as a reference if you're looking to measure. Um, goes inside of this pocket and you can see it closes, no problem. Has plenty of room. So, great, another place I can put my phone um, if I so choose, which is one of the things I was looking for. And this pocket can be used for whatever you want. Store things. Keys, wallets, whatever. Okay, so, back to my original accessory I was talking about. The sleeve to be able to cover the, uh, the sticky rubber piece of the uh, butt that doesn't really fit in some of these cases. So because it's hard to get these in when it doesn't have some sort of way to slide, this, hopefully this slides on easy, otherwise this will be a pain in the ass. But, um, okay. Okay, I'm sliding in, okay, they're good. It slides right in now, nice and easy, good. Excellent, so now that fits. And that's see how this thing slides in now. Look at that. No problem at all. And then it's got this little end with a little loop on it to pull it out easily when I need to. So that's great. That's what I was looking for. So once again, the mad scientist, I'll call him, even though I've never met him and don't know him personally. And I've not used his product until I just picked it up today. Has come up with a great idea to be able to, obviously I wasn't the first one to have that challenge and, or he's had that challenge. So. But um, that's going to be nice. I can easily pull this in and out of this bag now, my case, and utilize it without having to ruin that tape or any of those um, little these little grips that you can buy and add to some of those um, shafts or butts, excuse me, of cues. Although, like I said, it's not the easiest thing to get out of the sleeve. Well, there we go. Okay. So that's the second. That's let's see, not the second. That's. That's another accessory. So that's that's to fit and help this glide into the case. This is to help fill space in one of the slots for the butt so I can use and add my jump butt into this and use one of the slots. This is just a little piece of elastic to hold things in place. And then lastly, in the big pocket, I should have a little tray divider that I ordered. Okay, there it is. All right, cool. Yep, there it is. So it looks like they match it right. Okay, cool. So here it is. This is so here's the pocket, the big pocket in, in the case. But the cool thing about this accessory is this tray holder comes out. It's got Velcro on it, and it's customizable. So you can see these little individual. Um, I don't know what they what they're called. I think they're made of like cardboard. They feel like cardboard. They're light, and they got Velcro on each end. But literally, I can take every one of these ones out, and I can fit. So if I want to, so if I want to put in, no, I would. But if I want to put in a piece of chalk, and I want to hold that chalk tight, now I can just put this in here, and to hold that chalk tight, I can just bend this, and then put the velcro there. And now it's got it locked in place just for the chalk, so it doesn't roll around. And one of the one of the benefits of this capability here. And be able to pull this tray out is, you know, I don't have a lot of stuff that I pull out during a match, but I see guys that have 
powder and they put like little lines down and it looks like they're freaking doing drugs on the on the table next to you but it's to get um, take the sweat off their hands and on their shaft so they can slide easily but they carry a lot of stuff in their case so you can just take this out leave the case sitting upright and set this on the table next to you and everything you have is easily accessible and you can easily get to it so cool feature I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it all yet but um, I figured let's give it a shot so that's it uh, those were the accessories and that was the um, case I ordered and um, yeah I'm happy looking forward to utilizing it one thing that I wonder if it has, okay, it doesn't, slip. so another thing that's nice about this, okay, this has got a rubber bottom on it, like a grippy bottom, which is kind of cool, because one of the things that happened in my old case was it had like these little, I don't know, little um, nubs at the bottom of this case, and they screwed on. Well, over time, they loosened up, and I've lost two of them, so I got these exposed screws on the bottom. Which, big deal? Nah, not really. But, you know, I guess I just like to have my stuff in working order. And who knows where it's going to go from there. But um, I got my money out of it. I probably paid, I don't know, 150 bucks for this thing way back in the day. Um, but now this one, my new one, it's got the rubber on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about those pins on there sticking out. And it'll grab, it'll hold. And I was going to see if it had any sort of way to support it, but it doesn't, which is fine. I've got a wall, i got the little little clamp here. So, yeah, I think um, everything showed up, except I think I ordered two of these. So I think we're missing one thing, but we'll get it fixed, and um, we're all good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll, pull, I'll put it up on the um, table one more time for you to take a look at it before I shut this down. And uh, keep checking back for uh, more items that I'll be unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and by the way, I hope you run your next rack.